Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between stop loss and stop limit order. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on how they compare. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is execution. For stop loss order, execution is at the current market price. This means that once the stop price is met, the stop order becomes a market order, and the stock will be bought or sold at the next available price. This protects investors from potential losses if the stock prices continue to drop. For stop limit order, execution is at the price set by the investors in advance. This means that the investor sets up a stop price and a stop limit price simultaneously. Once the stop order is met, it triggers a limit order rather than a market order. Trade will only occur if the trigger price is reached, causing limit price to be executed. Stop limit is therefore appropriate as stock are bought or sold at a specific price or better by placing the limit order. Effectiveness A stop loss order is effective for all trades, whether the market is volatile or not. A stop loss order limits an investor's negative exposure of their position in a volatile market by allowing them to exit the trade during unfavorable market price levels. Stop limit order is effective in volatile markets whereby an investor stays in trade and tries to transition gains into losses or guard profits from being reeled back. In this case, stop limit outshines stop loss order as it enables investors to stay in the trade market when it's volatile. But do they have any similarities? Yes, both stop loss and stop limit orders are used to reduce the probability of dormant losses on existing market positions. Both are also used to compare profits on swing trading, whereby the trade is to last a couple of days up to several months. To sum up, how do they compare? Stop loss or stop limit order? What I like most about stop loss order is that one can use it to exit trades early to protect them from further losses in the market. However, I choose stop limit as the overall winner due to its flexibility in a volatile market, enabling the investor to navigate during price swings and protects profits from being reeled back. Moreover, the investor has accurate control of when the order should be executed by placing a stop order and limit order. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching.